Hi everyone and welcome back to KB Online Fitness. Today I have a cardio-based bootcamp class for you. Pretty similar to all of the bootcamp classes uh, that you've done with me before, but just slightly simplified today because this is going to be more cardio focused. So all you need today, saying all you need is I'm looking at <laughs> all of the equipment that I have. It's really not that much. All you need is a rubbery latex band. I've got two because I'm extra. I have a lighter one and a heavier one just in case because we never know. And then um, a lighter set of weights and a heavier set of weights. Um, we're not going to be doing too, too much with the weights today. I've got eights and fives and then threes just in case if I want to drop down. So same thing as we always do. Uh, this is going to be an AMRAP type of uh, workout, which means I'm going to be doing some sort of timing, so whether it be 45 seconds, a minute, and you're just gonna try to pack in as many reps as you can in the time that's given to you. So as always, we're gonna start out with our cardio circuit, which is gonna be even more intense today considering that everything that we do pretty much is gonna be cardio today. So for our cardio, we're gonna be doing 10 seconds of butt kickers, holding on to the weights, and then going right into 10 seconds of shoulder press jumping jacks. So you grab whatever weight you wanna do for that. We're gonna be doing that for a minute, so each 10 seconds when it's time to switch, I will let you know. So get yourselves ready, grab whatever weight you think will be applicable for this. We're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, and go. So here we go with those butt kickers. Now, if you want to make this whole class low impact, you can. You'll just kick your heel up towards your butt. We're going to switch to those shoulder press jacks. Same thing. You can make this low impact. Just stepping one foot out to the side as you raise those weights up. Back to butt kickers. So we're 20 seconds in. Three, two, one. Shoulder press kicks. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to those black kickers last time. Then all ready. Three, two, and one. Shoulder press jacks. Last ten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put those weights down, grab your rubbery band. So we're gonna take the band around the ankles. That's gonna be more challenging. If you wanna make it less intense, you bring the band around your quads, right up above the knees on the quads. So for one minute, we're gonna be doing a lateral monster walk with some inner thigh tap. So you're gonna sink down nice and slow. I'm focused more on being cardio driven today. So nice and swift, walking over to one side. Stop once you walk about three or four steps. And then your outer leg, is gonna step out one, out two, walk all the way back. One, two. Right, when we're done with that, we're gonna go into cha-chas. 30 seconds on each side. Out, back, out, back, holding tension the whole time. So that's gonna be a total of two minutes, and then that's gonna bring us into a little upper body circuit, and then we're gonna repeat that one more time. It only makes sense as we go along, I promise. So let's just get into it. We're gonna do one minute of those monster walks with that inner thigh top. Time starts in three, two, and we go, walk. Walk, walk, tap. One, two, walk it out. So focus on your tempo. So you want to stay low, but continue to move nice and swift. Holding tension the whole time. So you start to feel the inner thighs and the booty. Everything's working. We're halfway through. We take it right into cha-chas after this. We'll start with the right side. So we'll stabilize on the left, move with the right. You got 20 seconds till we get there. 
Sink down as low as you can. You got this. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, hold wherever you are. Right leg's gonna move. Side, back, side, back. So we're still focusing on moving quick, keeping that heart rate elevated while still working the booty. Halfway through. Ten seconds, you switch to the left side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Left side, right leg stabilizes. The more you sink down into that right leg, the more you're gonna feel it. And it's that right stabilizing leg that's doing all the work. Keeping your body up nice and tall. So we're trying not to sink your chest down. Whew. 10 seconds to go. We're gonna take it into an upper body circuit. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Take the band off. Grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna use five. One minute of dumbbell six ways. You go lateral, front, up, down, open, down, that's six ways. Next, 30 seconds, tricep, over and extension. Coming your way in five, four, three, two, let's go. Up, center, up, down, out, down. Now what you wanna be super careful with here in this one is that up motion. So a lot of times, what I'll see is thrusting the hips forward to getting those weights up. Try to avoid doing that. You wanna keep your core nice and engaged here. So even though we're not actively working the core, just by moving these weights, standing up, we gotta engage and recruit those core muscles. So we got about 20 seconds to go. And then we're going to take it right into those triceps. No break. Whew. Now the weights are starting to get heavy. Whew. Eliminate those ups if you need. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Let's take it right into 30 seconds of tricep overhead extensions. Weights come together. You can drop down to just one weight if you need. Elbows stay close in towards your face. Dropping those weights down as low as you can, bringing them straight up. So you want to bring the weights just straight up, not forwards at all. So it's down, right back up. Same thing, keep the hips nice and stable. So your hips are forward. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Let's just take about a 15 second breather. Grab a drink of water if you need. We're gonna get ourselves ready to go back into that set. So we're only gonna do that set one more time. So remember it's one minute of those lateral monster walks with that inner thigh tap for a minute and then cha-cha 30 seconds on each side. So here we go, we're gonna get ready. Whew. Time is gonna start in five, four, three, two, sink it down low, let's go. About four steps to one side, staying down low. Two inner thigh taps. Awesome, maybe you're able to get down a little bit lower than last time, just try. Maybe if you had the band above the knees last time, you try to challenge yourself, bring it around the ankles. Why not just try? You need, you always just bring it back up. Surprise yourself with your own strength, right? Woo. We're about halfway through. Actually, a little bit more than halfway through. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm feeling the booty. 10 seconds to go. We take it right into cha-chas. On the right side. In five, four, three, to stop wherever you are, stabilizing the left leg, right leg's gonna tap out, back, out, back, 
Keep your chest lifted, but sinking down low in the left knee. Whew. 20 seconds to go. Try to sink down lower. Try not to grip in those left toes. We got this 10 seconds left. Switching in five, four, three, two, and one. We switch right into the left. No break. We get that little mini break before we switch it out to those dumbbell six ways one more time. Then we go back into that cardio circuit that we did in the beginning of class. Then we move on to our next circuit. It's nice and quick. It's gonna be done before you know it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Take that band off for now. Let's grab those weights, whatever you just used, for those dumbbell six weights and triceps. You need to go down lower. You want to try to end it up a little bit. Go ahead, feel free to do that. Otherwise, we're going to begin with one minute of dumbbell six weights in five, four, three, Two, and we go lateral to the front, nice and controlled up over high. Back down, stop shoulder height, open it back up, drop it all the way down. Up shoulder height, center, raise it up, drop it down, open it out, drop it down. Yes. Awesome work. You can always take a break if you need to, and jump back into it. I'd rather you take a break rather than compromise your form. We got just 20 seconds to go. Right there. And we're one third of the way done. Quick, quick circuits. Quick circuits, but they hit you. 10 seconds to go. Three, and one, right into those tricep overhead extensions. 30 seconds, begin. Yeah. Right down, and up. Like so I like to bend my knees a little bit. And just tuck my pelvis slightly forwards. Keeping your shoulders relaxed away from the ears. We got this. About halfway through. Final 10. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work. Woo. Let it go. Take a quick breather. Take a drink of water for me. All right, so here we go. Getting ready to do circuit number two. Picking up those weights. Starting out the same way that we started circuit number one with those 10 seconds of butt kickers, 10 seconds of shoulder press jacks. Let's get to it. Time's going to start. In three, two, and we go. 10 seconds of butt kickers. I'll let you know when we switch. Of course, you can take that low impact variation, just bringing the heel up. Let's take it to those shoulder press jacks. Again, you wanna take it low impact. That's five, three, two, one. Back into butt kickers. You can also do this section weightless. If you like, that lessens the intensity as well. Back to jumping. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time, butt kickers. Five, four, three, two. Pressing up, jumping jacks. Three, two, and one. Awesome work. Put those weights down. We're going to grab that band one more time for this next set. So kind of similar to what we did with the first set. This time, same thing. Band comes around the ankles or above the knees. Your choice. But for this time, we're going to do one full minute of front monster walks. So starting at the back of your mat, squatting down low, stepping forwards, stepping back, and 
And then our last 30 seconds is gonna be squat jacks. So you start center, you jump out, you jump in, low impact, you just keep it stepping. So that's gonna be one minute of those front monster, monster walks. I don't know why I keep saying monster. <laughs> one minute of those front monster walks, 30 seconds of those squat step outs or knots. So let's begin in three, two, and we go. So staying down nice and low. I'm gonna bring my band down a little bit lower. Really challenge myself. It's not so bad in the beginning. Once you get to those squat drums, woo, your booty's gonna be like, I'm done. And quads too. I actually think I feel more in the quads than anything else. I'm gonna challenge myself to get down a little bit lower here. We're halfway through. Awesome work, 20 seconds to go. We're going into a little bit of plank circuit after this with the band. That's gonna be fun. In five seconds, we jump it out. Three, two, and one. Bring it in, open it up. In squat, out squat, in squat. Now it doesn't have to be an explosive jump. Just a little hop in, hop it out, hop it in, hop out, you're already halfway through. So simple. 10 seconds to go. Keep your chest up, make sure it doesn't fall, you've got five, four, three, two, and one, awesome. So you're gonna keep with the band. I'm just switching out my band, so I'm gonna take my lighter band for this. We're gonna come down onto the ground. Band's gonna come around the feet. And we're taking it into a one minute plank oblique punch. So, with the band around your feet, if it's too intense with the band around your feet, of course you can always take it off. Otherwise, knees can squeeze all the way in towards the elbow, send it back. Knee all the way in towards the elbow, send it back. Trying to keep that core nice and tight the whole time. So we got one full minute of that. So brace yourself, of course. Take a break if you need to. Jump back into it. But get yourselves ready, because we're gonna tackle that in 10 seconds. Whew. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, and we go. So you wanna shift your weight forwards so you can get the knee all the way up to tap the elbow. And if it's too much of the tension, of course, you can just do this circuit without. But hey, just try. Challenge yourselves. You never know until you try. You can actually do it. Really getting it into that side body here. We're just about halfway through. Of course, you know, take a break if you need it. Just jump right back in. It's no problem. Try to keep that knee high. I found myself kind of dragging my knee on the ground, you wanna lift it up nice and high, connect it to the elbow. 15 seconds to go. Final 10. Three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Shake out the wrists. Take a moment. We're gonna come up at your own time. Maybe take a drink of water before you come up. All right, so it's time to repeat that one more time. Grab your band around the ankles. We do one more time into those front monster walks, into that squat jump, and then into that plank. So here we go. We're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, and we're off. Walking to the front, staying down nice and low. Walking to the back. Bring the weight mostly back and heels. That's gonna bring it into the glutes. And that's what we want, of course. Gotta keep it around the ankles the whole time. I'm actually gonna bring mine down a little bit lower. 
I'm going for it. We got 25 seconds left. We squat jump it out. Final 15. 10 seconds, we squat, jump it out. In five, four, three, two, and we go. Out little hop, in little hop, little hop. <laughs> so you kind of want to hold that squat down before you send it back out. We'll send it back in, little stabilization, and open it out and out. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds, we take it down to that plank. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Again, I'm just switching out my hand. Go for the lighter one. You can go totally bandless this spot. You can juice. So here we go. Just take another 10 seconds to prepare yourselves. Whew. All right, we're gonna begin in five, four, three, two, and we go. So really try to drive the knee up above the ground to tap the elbow. Try not to lift the hips up too much. So you don't wanna be in a downward facing dog. The nice strong plank. We're already halfway through. Oh man. Second set. This is where things get real. Final 15. Stay with it, guys. Roll one arm, roll the other arm, and then 
see if I can shot. Come up, step or hop your way up. We're gonna be doing that for one minute, so however long, however many reps, back gets us to, no worries. And then we're gonna be jumping into a core circuit where we're gonna be combining a sit-up to a Russian twist for one minute. We're gonna be repeating that two times. That's what's gonna bring us to the end of this workout. So, like I said, don't stress. I'll be talking through every step of the way. Grab whatever weights you wanna use for those bicep curls and renegade rows. You might be able to go a little bit heavier, biceps and back very strong muscles, so you can amp up your weight a little bit more than what you were using for your shoulders. All right, here we go. We're gonna begin those in five, four, three, two, and we'll go five bicep curls. Two, three, four, and five. Nice and slow, good, lift it all the way down, all the way till the weight's tucked down the mat. Step or hop your weight back into a plank. Either hold or you roll up one weight, roll up the other weight. I'm going to drop my knees down, take my push up, come back up, step or hop it all the way up. Deadlift makes and slow up to the top. Five more bicep curls. One, two, three, four, and five. Here we go. Deadlift slow all the way to the bottom until the uh, weights touch the ground. Step or hop. And you roll one, two, into your push up. Step or hop it up. We got 15 seconds to go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just finish it out. Dead lift to the bottom. Hands come down to the mat. Step or hop it back to plank. Try to keep your hips square. Roll up one, roll up two. Take it into your push up. Awesome work. Let's transition into those sit-ups to Russian twists. So, you're gonna grab one heavy weight or you can grab both of your heavy weights, whatever you prefer. So we're gonna be doing a little combination of a sit-up to a Russian twist. So we're gonna start at the bottom. Weighted sit-up, once you're up, then you'll come down about halfway, take a five second Russian twist, keeping the weight at your chest, and just twisting from the torso. We're gonna to do that for one minute. If sit-ups are not in your workout today, out of your capability, out of your scope of what your body can do, don't stress, just do some weighted crunches. All right, so we're gonna begin that in 10 seconds. We're gonna be going through that for one minute, and then we we'll jump back into repeat one more time these bicep curls, running through rows. So here we go in three, two, and we go sit up, come down halfway, Russian twist, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it down, sit up all the way, come down halfway, torso rotation, so weight seems up the chest, twisting from your torso, and all the way down, lower down, you go where you're gonna feel it. Sit it up, down halfway, Russian twist, all the way down, halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down all the way, we're more than halfway through. Up, down halfway, five, four, three, two, and one. Down all the way, 15 seconds to go. It's up, halfway down. Five, four, three, two, and one. All the way down. Up all the way, this is gonna be our last one. Down halfway, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, take a quick breather. I'm gonna meet you guys back up to start that last set of those bicep curls to deadlift to my big rows. All right, we've got our heavy weights. We're ready to go. Top of the mat. We're gonna begin in 10 seconds. Five bicep curls, deadlift, 20 deep row push up, up, and repeat. In three, two, and we go bicep curls. In one, two, three, four, Five, deadlift all the way down, nice and slow. Weights come down, step or hop back to plank. Trying to get row one, two. Take it into your push up, come all the way up, step or hop back. Deadlift back up to the top, bicep curl. One, two, 
three, four, and five. We have lifted down, legs and slow. Weights touch down, step or hop back. And get row, right, left, push up, up, step or hop. Deadlift it up, this is gonna be our last one. One, two, three, four, five. Nice little deadlift. And all the way down. We touch down, step or hop. One last time, roll it up, roll it up. Last push up. Awesome. All right, final minute of work. Let's get to it. Grab your one heavy weight or both. Maybe you want to be a last set hero. Really go all the way. We got 10 seconds till we go through those sit up brush and twists. Get yourselves ready to go in five, four, three, two, and we go sit up all the way. Down halfway. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. Up. Down halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Down all the way. Up all the way. Down halfway, five, four, three, two, and one, down all the way. Up, we're halfway through. Five, four, three, two, and one, down all the way. And up. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Final 15, everybody. Stick with it. Maybe you try to do those Russian twists a little bit lower. It's gonna be your last one, but down as low as you can, five, Four, three, two, and one. Wow, amazing work. Let's just flip around onto our belly. Let's take a space. Stretch out the belly a little bit. Whew. Wow. Awesome work, everybody. So now you can stay in the sphinx, or if you like, press into the into the palms, excuse me, lift your chest all the way up. Hmm. Slowly bring your chest all the way down. Press your forehead onto your hands. Bend your heels in towards your tush. This takes some windshield wipers right here. Loosen out the low back just a little bit. Release the legs all the way down. Slide your hands back in towards your ribcage. Lift your chest all the way up. Send it all the way back to a child's pose. Ah. Resting your forehead all the way down onto the mat. Maybe getting in a little bit of massage. Walking your hands all the way over towards the right side. Feel your nice stretch in the left side of the body, stretching those lax muscles. Walking your hands all the way over to the left side of the body. And then bringing your hands all the way back to center. Slide yourselves all the way back up. Just shift onto one side of the touch. Bring the legs all the way extended out in front of you. You can take as generous bend in the knees as you need to. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up overhead. Nice lengthening of the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hips to begin to fold all the way down. You can stay here and stretch as long as you guys need. Otherwise, I thank you guys so much for joining me in this nice little quick blast boot camp. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what type of content and what type of workouts you want, how much timing you want, everything like that. And I would be happy to film whatever you guys would like to see. Otherwise, have an amazing day, guys, and thank you so much.